Hello, welcome to the cell replication. This season, a good percentage of us are likely to develop cold or flu. This is because our body are constantly undergoing processes to repair or produce new cells. This process, in a nutshell, is known as the human cell cycle. Today, we'll be talking about the DNA and its features, the red cell cycle, mitosis, and a little bit of meiosis, and then mutation. The cell cycle. The cell cycle is a process which the cell undergoes in order to grow and divide. It is divided into two different phases, the interphase and the mitosis or M phase. The interphase is divided into three different stages, the G1 phase, the S phase, and the G2 phase. During G1 phase, the cell might go into G0 phase, which is a period in the cell cycle where the cell is neither preparing to divide nor dividing. Following interphase comes mitosis, which is divided into five different phases. First comes the prophase, then metaphase, followed by anaphase, telophase, and finally cytokinesis, which results in cell division. Finally, we have the regulation of the cell cycle. Cell cycle is regulated by checkpoints. The main checkpoints are the G1 checkpoint located in the G1 to S phase transition. The next checkpoint is the G2 checkpoint, which is located in the G2 phase to mitosis transition. And the final checkpoint is located at the end of the metaphase called the M checkpoint or spindle checkpoint. In this part of the revision guide, I will be discussing the different checkpoints that are located within the cell cycle. Firstly, we have the G1 checkpoint. The G1 checkpoint is the primary point at which the cell must choose whether to divide or not. Here are the factors that a cell must assess at the G1 checkpoint. Size. Is the cell large enough to divide? Nutrients. Does the cell have enough energy to divide? Molecular signals. This is growth factors from neighbours. DNA integrity. Is any of the DNA damaged? Following this, we have the G2 checkpoint. The G2 checkpoint checks for the following, DNA damage and DNA replication. Before the M phase, G2 ensures that the process of cell division occurs smoothly. If errors in the process are detected, the cell will pause at the G2 checkpoint. This allows repairs. If damage cannot be repaired, the cell may undergo cell death. This self-destructive mechanism ensures that all damaged DNA is not passed onto daughter cells. Following this, we have the metaphase checkpoint. The metaphase checkpoint is also known as the spindle checkpoint. In this checkpoint, the cell examines if all sister chromocytes are correctly attached. The separation process in the anaphase is an irreversible step. Therefore, the cycle will not proceed until all the chromosomes are firmly attached. If a chromosome is misplaced, the cell will pause mitosis, allowing time for the stray chromosome to be captured. Summarising this revision, how do checkpoints actually work? To, to, to conclude, each checkpoint associated with the cell cycle outlines the influence of cell division to pause or progress at each checkpoint. The cell cycle plays an important role for the growth and development of living organisms. I'll be explaining the M phase or the mitotic phase of the cell cycle. This uh, mitotic phase has five stages. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. In interphase, the DNA replicates and the organelles are also replicated and the cell carries out its normal functions. In prophase, the chromosomes condense and become more visible under a microscope when an appropriate dye is used. The nuclear envelope breaks down and centrioles move to opposite ends of the cell forming a network of spindle fibers. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the equatorial plane of the cell, each with two chromatids. Spindle fibers attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes. The spindle is a bipolar array of microtubules that attach to the centromere, as shown here. In anaphase, the centromeres divide, causing sister chromatids to separate into a V-shape and move to opposite poles of the cell. This is followed by telophase. 
In telophase, the nuclear membrane reforms as the chromosomes uncoil. The, nuclear, the nucleoli sorry, reappear and the spindle fibers disintegrate. Cytokinesis is when the two daughter, daughter cells are made. This occurs due to the contractile, contractile ring forming, creating a cleavage furrow, causing the cell to separate. That is all. Have you ever thought about how two siblings from the same parents can look different from each other? We'll be looking at the process which makes this possible, and that is called meiosis. Meiosis does not make or repair body cells, but makes sperm and egg cells, known as the gametes. Sperm and egg cells come together they now have 46 chromosomes and this allows a new formed fertilized egg to develop into a human meiosis is also refers, referred to as the reduction cell division because you start with 46 chromosomes and end up with two separate 32 chromosomes isn't that wonderful all right let's talk about the cell division in meiosis in meiosis cell division happens twice that looks like magical. The, there are, uh, let's talk about the phases now of meiosis. Uh, phase one, we have the prophase. Prophase one, where the chromosomes condense and thicken. Chromosomes line up with their uh, homologous pairs. The same size, this has the same size, contains same type of genes. There's crossover, which is a matchup and transfer of genetic information. Uh, then it makes recombinant uh, chromosomes. In metaphase, uh, one chromosomes are in pair and in the middle. In anaphase, one chromosomes pull away from the spindle fibers. In telophase, one, two newly uh, uh, formed nuclei and uh, the cytoplasm is split into two. Now, let's go to meiosis phase two. In meiosis phase 2, we have the prophase 2, uh, where the chromosomes and the spindles start to form. Uh, metaphase 2, chromosomes line up in a single file in the middle. They are not in pairs in this, in this phase. In anaphase 2, chromatids pull away from the spindle fiber. In telophase 2, new nuclear forms, two cell divides and uh, four cells are formed. Then cytokinesis follows to completely split the cytoplasm. Now, in meiosis, males produce sperm eggs, while um, sperm cells, while the female produce egg cells. There can be genetic malfunctions or disorders when the cells do not separate completely, and this leads to uh, mutation. So I hand over now to my colleague uh, Lucas to talk about mutation. During cell replication, the cell physically replicates, as well as the genetic information contained within the cell, doubling. We need to understand that the genetic information is stored in the form of bases. Bases are sugar monomers in the same way that the backbone of DNA is constructed from phosphor sugars. There are five different bases and those five different bases belong to two respective groups. You have your purines, which are adenine and guanine, and your pyrimidines, which are thymine and cytosine, as well as uracil. Uracil is only found in RNA, whereas thymine is only found in DNA. These bases are different in size, and you would only ever expect to have purines and pyrimidines join. You wouldn't have a mix match of uh, pyrimidines and pyrimidines or purines and purines. The mutations that occur due to the changing in the triple sequence of ba uh, bases varies. You can have substitution of a set base, so rather than having a triple thymine sequence, you could expect to have an adenine thymine thymine sequence. You can have insertion type mutations where instead of expecting a triple thymine, you could have a quadruple thymine. And in the case of deletion, as the name suggests, you can have a removal of a said base, so you'd have a double thymine instead of a triple thymine. Mutations can be neutral, harmful, and beneficial. So we want to thank you so much for watching our search cycle video. We hope you understand that if there's any problem during the DNA replication, it becomes hard a mutation